What's going on guys? Welcome back to the TCG Empire YouTube channel. Today we're going over Final Standings Friday. And if you're new here and you're not sure what that is, this segment is where we take the deck of the week featured on Meta Monday and we discuss how I feel the deck performed when it came to my initial testing. Now the deck of the week this time around was the PPG Treasure Cup winning list from the Trafalgar Law deck. Now the basis of this deck is that you have the Shambles ability on Law where for 2 Dawn investment you can bring in any character that's a 5 drop or less and swap it into play when your board's full and it swaps places with a character of the opposite color. So this means that if you have a board full of 1 drops with 2 Nami, 1 Bonnie, a Beige Blocker, and a Tony Tony Chopper Blocker, you can actually pay 2 Dawn and play the 5 drop Law Blocker in place of a Nami and then use Law's effect to bounce the Bonnie back to hand and then play down a character with a three or less. So this deck is based around being able to cheat out high cost characters for low cost and it rewards you for filling your board. Now this deck does offer a ton of potential because of this ability and this ability allows you as a law player to really control the tempo of the match. You can go from being aggro to being super defensive in a matter of just a few dawn during your turn. Now the reason that this deck is so good is because it offers the pilot a great reward for playing their sequencing correctly. You get a board full of protection that can also hit hard, and not to mention that when you play down the law blocker, it has 6,000 power, and that means for one dawn investment, you can swing for 7,000 and force your opponent to dump two cards or take life. Now, I know that with a blocker attacking with it sounds weird, but that's also where the law from the starter deck comes into play. Because this character is a 5 drop itself, you can shambles it into play, as well as place it in place of a red character, and then as soon as it hits the board, it can restand a blocker law in order to have a blocker for the turn. So that turns your 6k blocker into an attacker that can also restand at the end of the turn, which we've seen do really well with cards, especially like the Eustace Captain Kid that is a 7 drop. Now, as I mentioned before, the deck is really well designed and it's a ton of fun. You have multiple bodies, big swings, great defense, and basically a wall that's harder to get through at times than the 8-drop Eustace Captain Kid. However, the deck does have some weaknesses. For starters is the pilot. You have to be really technical when it comes to playing this deck. Otherwise, you're going to have a really tough time. This deck requires a ton of thinking because although you get the insane abilities to cheat out big bodies, you're always having to have a full board means that your hand advantage can be low. That's also one of the reasons that Zoro and sometimes Luffy do better against Law than other decks is because on top of removal with red, there's constant attacks that come through and that's just what red is meant to do. But when it comes down to it, if Law is having to dump cards from their hand to protect life, it means that they can't refill their board as easily if it's been KO'd and if they choose to fill their board, it means that they can't do as much comboing to protect from attacks. So it's somewhat like a double-edged sword, but overall, I really like the deck, and it is really fun to learn and improve your sequencing, so I would highly suggest that if you're wanting a challenging deck to use, it would be that. And if you do choose to pick it up, I would really suggest a practice, because you have to learn the difference between when to take attacks, block attacks, let characters be KO'd, dump cards in your hand, or if you're willing to, have a less filled board and basically a leader with no ability and you also have to manage how to do all of that at the same time so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it remember to smash that like button subscribe turn on post notifications enjoy the gameplay in the background and i'll catch you guys in monday's meta monday